What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of FS19 with your boy CJ Farms. Today I'm going to be taking you into the belling technology and how it all works. Guys and girls, let's get right into this. Alright guys, as you can see, we're going to be going through all the belling, um, everything to do with belling, okay? Almost everything. So what we have here guys, we have a, we have a beller that spits out round bells. And a beller that spits out square bells. Now these collect your hay, straw, grass, whatever it is that you want to bell up, okay? This back here is going to be your trailer to pick up your um, your square bells, okay? And this trailer right here is going to be the one that's going to pick up your round bells, alright? Now over here, I have a round bell wrapper. Now what this does, it bells up grass or whatever it is you want to put in there, and turns it into silage. You mainly want grass for this, or hay. You can do hay as well for silage, but only hay and grass. Now, we're going to be doing grass only today, okay? Also, we have our mowers with us. I'm going to show you guys where to get all this stuff a piece at a time, okay? So, we're going to get started with doing our bells off the field. Now, what you're going to need to do, guys, before you get into this video, you're going to need to go onto your field. We've been on Feldsman on this beginner's guide. You're going to need to go on your field here, guys, and plant some wheat and let it grow, okay? So you're going to need wheat for this particular episode. And then you're going to need a harvester. I did, um, I do still have the other harvester, but I bought new equipment um, with the money tool that I showed you guys how to install. If you have not installed the money tool yet, guys, that, show, that will make you rich in seconds, I'll link the video right now, and you'll see it popping up, okay? It's going to take you to my video that shows you how to install the money tool, and just with the click of three buttons, you can add a million dollars to your account each time, okay, guys? Go watch that video, come back, and you can buy all this equipment. Now, first up and foremost, the Massey Ferguson uh, 7347S um, Harvester. You're going to go into your store, okay? You're going to go down to Harvesters, all right? And this is going to be the one that you want to get right here. Now, you can get any harvester you want. It's completely up to you, but this is the one that I picked for this particular tutorial. Um, but it's, that's where it's going to be at right there, guys, okay? Now, your header, you're going to go over to Tools, going to go down to Headers, and you want the Massey Ferguson header, okay, which is going to be this one right here, the Free Flow 25-foot. This is the one I picked right here, all right? If you just kind of want to follow along and do exactly as I'm doing, that's what you want for the harvester, okay? So let's go ahead and get in the harvester. Alright guys, we're going to fire it up. Now, before you do any kind of harvesting at all, guys, you have to open your harvester, okay? We already know how to do all that. That's in other tutorials, guys. I'll leave the playlist at the end of the video. Alright, so the harvester's open. We are now going... Let me make sure that everything is set the way it's supposed to be set. And let me... Let's go ahead and turn our harvester on. Alright. Now, before you start harvesting your wheat, make sure... Your straw swath is enabled. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, guys. I'm going to mouse mode. C. Where's that? Okay, right here, guys, where it says disable straw swath. If you hit your comma on your keyboard, if it says enable straw swath, then that means your straw swath is disabled. You want it enabled, okay? You want it to where it says disable straw swath. Once you have that, start harvesting. All right. It's going to spit out. Oh, there we go. There we go. I didn't think it was going to do it. All right. It's going to spit out a trail behind you, just like this. Let me get my mouse straightened back out again, so I can work my camera mode. All right. It's going to leave a trail behind you, just like this. If it'll do it, is it going to do it? Actually do it? All right, there we go. So, what the trail is for, basically, guys, this is your your straw from your weed, okay? You're going to gum through with either a square beller or a round beller and pick it up. I'm going to do a couple rows here, just to do like two rows, and then show you how the belling technology works. Um, as far as that goes, because I have a lot to cover in this one tutorial, and um, I don't want to, you know, draw it out too long and make it too, too much, okay? So let's go ahead and sling her on over here, and we're going to grab this second row right here. We might do actually like uh, two or three rows, maybe four rows. Might do four rows just to make sure we have enough to put in the beller, because the beller has to be full in order to spit out a bell of hay, okay? Now... It doesn't take long to fill up your round beller, but your square beller, your square beller, it takes a little longer to fill up. So uh, we're probably going to do like, you know, we're probably going to do like three rows, four rows maybe, uh, just to make sure we have enough hay. 
Um, so once that's done, guys, I'll, I'll see you then. All right, guys, so once we got our field done, we're just going to park the harvester, you know. I'm going to park it over here. I'm going to park it over here. And once we're done with that, guys, I'm going to show you how to get into the bailing part of it, okay? So let's go over here, and we're going to start with our round baler, okay? The round baler. Now, the round baler you're going to find in bailing technology in your store under tools, okay? So if you will go into your tools and go over to bailing techno technology, bailing technology right here. It's going to be right here, guys, where I'm at. See where I'm at? This is going to be the round baler you're going to get right here. This is your round baler on the New Holland. Uh, roll belt 150 right there. That's going to be your round beller. And then your square beller, guys, is going to be the one right next to it, the coon. All right, it's going to be this one right here. These are pretty good tools, guys. They're actually really good tools. And then your bell wrapper, guys, is going to be the one right next to that. That's going to be this one right here, okay? So get go ahead and get those three tools and get ready for what we're going to do next. Uh, also, guys, your trailers... This is going to be for your square bells. This right here is going to be for your square bells, okay? But there is your square bell trailer. Hold 16 bells. And then your round bell trailer, guys, is going to be on down towards the end. Uh, this, I try not to work with mods when I'm doing tutorials like this. Um, I try my best not to. Sometimes it's hard not to do that. However, the Ursus round bell trailer is a mod. So you will have to go to your mod hub and search it and just type in Ursus. U-R-S-U-S. If you do not have this installed, go to your mod hub, type in U-R-S-U-S. It will pull this trailer up, install it, and come back to the video, okay? But those are the four main tools, uh, five main tools, I'm sorry, that you need for this particular part of the video. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five tools. So, uh, so what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to get in this tractor. And we're going to bring the beller out. Let me get the help window on for you guys. And you're going to unfold the beller, which is right there on your window. It's going to be the X button. That's going to unfold it. And then you want to... What we want to do, guys, is we want to put the... There is wheels right there, guys. You will see those little wheels right there on the front of the beller. See those? You want to put those down. So... That is the pickup. You're going to lower the pickup. Hit the V. It's going to lower it. And then you are going to turn on the beller. Okay? Just like that. Now, you want to kind of go slow because it doesn't take long to fill up this round beller. Okay, guys? This does not take long at all. But these are really good tools to have, guys. I love using the bellers. I love doing belling. All right? And go easy. Go easy. All right? And then, I mean, you guys ain't got to, like, creep it slow or anything like that. But... You kind of want to keep an eye on that gauge down there on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen right next to your speedometer. It's going to fill up pretty quick, guys. It's going to fill up pretty fast. Let's see how we're getting. Once you get around the 80s, you might want to slow down. And just in case you happen to have to back up. Okay, so now once you have a full bell, okay, you're going to turn the bell off. Okay? And then you want to, say you're doing it on keyboard, you want to eject the bell. You're going to hit the Y. Okay? That's going to eject the bell right there. See that? Going to eject it. You're going to hit the Y again to close it. All right. And then you're going to go on to the very next row. We're going to do another row for round bells. So, guys, I went ahead and did the whole field <laughs> just to make sure we had enough. Now, if you have a little bit laying around like you see right there, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and, and pick that up. Let me get that picked up real quick. All right, guys, don't let my controller confuse you. If you see controller options pop up, don't let it confuse you if you're a keyboard and uh, mouse user. Uh, it's all the same thing. It all works the same. All right, we're going to get back over here. Look, I missed it. Jeez, I missed that. Holy cow. All right, so we're going to go to the next row, guys. Do the same thing. Make sure your pickup is down. Turn your beller on. And go for it, man. There it is. We're going to get We're gonna get this done, man. Get her done. Now, guys, as you can tell, it does not, like I said, guys, it does not take this round bell or long to fill up at all. So I'm going to show you how to sell your bells and all that, the easy way to do it. I'm going to show you the easy way to do it instead of having to carry it, you know, halfway across the map. All right, 100%. Turn it off. Back it up. Eject the bell, okay? All right. Now that we got that, turn it back on. Pick up that last little bit. All right, and we'll do one more row with the round bells to make sure that we have enough bells uh to actually bell up okay all right next row 
I'm gonna grab the next row. Here we go. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, man. I hope you guys are happy. I hope you guys are staying positive out there, man. This crazy, crazy world that we live in. Sadly enough, it is a crazy place. All right. Full bail. Turn it off. Back up. And eject. Going, again, right. you have to unfold these things, okay? You're going to unfold the bailer. Go ahead and unfold it. We're going to grab it from this side, and then we'll go around and start from there. All right. This also has a pickup that you have to lower down, so lower that pickup. All right. And then turn on your bailer. Now, this one takes a little longer to fill up, okay? <clears throat> so it takes a little bit longer. Not, not too much longer, but a little bit longer. Let me kind of knock that bell out of the way. Did I did I get it? All right, we got it. Now let's go on down to the next part here, and we're gonna start coming back this way <clears throat> and get a couple bells. So I'm trying to. I'm, this is probably gonna take a lot of editing for this video to get, to get everything in because uh, we still gotta go through grass building and all that too. So and wrapping and all that good stuff. So it's probably gonna be a lot of editing, guys. All right, now this machine, you do not have to stop once you get a full bell. You can just keep going, okay? <clears throat> That's the cool thing about the, the square beller is you do not have to stop. You can just keep going, and they will. you can either manually eject them or they will eject on their own, okay? So with this thing, man, you can just keep going and keep going and keep going until your heart's content. You do not have to stop whatsoever, okay? As you'll see what I'm talking about, this this bell right here is fixing to eject out the back. It'll just, it'll just fall on the ground, just... Squeezes out like a turd. Look at that. Those are good tacos right there, man. Good tacos. <laughs> All right. Now, if you want to, if you want to manually eject the bell, you would turn the machine off. I'm going to back up. Just like the round bell, we're turning it off. And then you're going to um, eject the bell. All right. Just the way that you did the other one, the Y button. All right. You're going to hit the Y button. It's going to push that bell on out just like that. <laughs> I can't resist being a kid, guys. I can't resist. I'm so immature. I'm so immature. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get one more row here of, of square bells. And then uh, we'll move on to the grass belling, okay? Because we have to cut grass for that, too. I'm going to show you exactly square bells how that's first. Done. It's its closest. All right. So, you, again, guys, you have to unfold these tools, okay? So, you're going to look over at your menu, and you want to hit the key that says operating position, okay? Which is going to be... Your B key, okay? It's gonna put. It's gonna let your. It's gonna let your uh, lever down. And as you can see, guys, let me pull out here a little bit so you get better better look at it. If you look at that right there, guys, you will actually see that those things are turning and moving. All right, just like real life. So we're gonna get on out here, and what you want to do is this is gonna be for your square bells, okay? So you just ride it beside it like this, and you're just gonna snatch it up, gonna pick it up just like that. All right, and then we're going to grab the next one, pick it up. Works the same way with the round bower, guys. Same exact way, no different. Let's go ahead and grab these last two. I'm going to show you guys how to sell your hay as well. So this is all going to be in one video. Just, just be prepared, guys. We're going to get it all done in one video. All right, guys, once you're done, put that back up, and we'll head back over and grab the round bower. Okay, guys, so the round bailer works exactly the same way as the square bailer does, okay? You have to, again, guys, you have to let, you have to unfold it, put it into operating position. Right there, guys, where you can see my mouse is. You're going to let, let it down, all right? And then we are going to go out here and just start picking up around bells. This only, unfortunately, holds eight bells of round bells. So, but there are bigger trailers you can get. Um, for example, perfect example, guys, the Anderson DLC pack, which I did a review on. Uh, not really a review, but I just showed you how to use it. But uh, I will leave a link in the video right now for the Anderson DLC pack showing you how... <clears throat> Whoop. Picked it up too soon. Uh, 
you guys can have a look at that video and see if you might <clears throat> be interested in that because the round builder on that DLC pack actually holds, I think, it's like 16 round bells. No, 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 it's 24. It holds 24. Once you're done, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and take this to the sell point because we're going to need this round beller for our grass cutting procedure over here. Okay, okay. guys, so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do and what to get is going to be this this uh, bell sale point that you're looking at right here, okay? This is a bell sale point. Now, where you're going to find this at, guys, you're going to go in the store and go over to placeables, okay? You're going to go to, I believe it's miscellaneous. All right. And right here is your bell sale points, okay? Now, you're probably not going to have this electric charging station unless you got the Alpine uh, Farming DLC pack. But what you want, guys, you have a small sell point, um, a long sell point and a double sell point. Okay, so right now all we really need for this double sell points are more for like multiplayer stuff. Okay, the bell sell point you want is just the first one, or you can get the long one if you want. It's up to you, um, and you can get the double if you want. It's pretty much up to you. But just just grab this, guys. You want to grab it and just kind of place it somewhere down in here. Uh, make sure it's level, guys. Make sure it's level. If it is not level, okay. It will cause the ground to deform, okay? And you're going to have like a bunch of hills and all that stuff. So you just want to put it somewhere. Once it's green, guys, you can place it down. Let's exit back out. All right, and then we're going to pull our tractor. Now, the easiest way to do this, I'd, I always tell people to back in, but the easiest way you want to do this is because you have to have those square bells in that square right there, okay? I'm sorry. You want to have the round bells in that square. Any kind of bells you're dropping off here, guys, you want to put them in this square right here, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Instead of backing into this, I'm fixing my light here, guys. Instead of backing into this, what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to loop through it, okay? We're just going to make a loop. And I'm going to show you guys how to unload your bells. Now, you want to load the bells the same way as you do um, in, on your, in your bellers, guys. The same exact key, okay? So you're going to pull it in here and make sure that your trailer is in about that position, okay? You want to go over here, guys, where it says unload bells, right there, and hit the Y key, okay? It's now going to start unloading your bells, all right? And there it goes, going to put them down. Now, it will not drop them immediately because it always asks you if you want to actually put them down there. Now, once it does this, you have the chance, you have the choice to abort your belling, which will pull the bell trailer back down with the bells on it. Or you can go ahead and unload the bells. Guys, we want to go ahead and unload the bells here. And right there, guys, and you will make some money, okay? No, it does not pay very much for hay bales, but it is what it is, okay? Now, you want to go ahead and fold it back up. Just like that. All right, and we're going to pull this out. And then this is going to go for our next part of our tutorial. Now, you would sell the square bells. Any kind of bells you have, guys, sell the exact same way in that uh, selling station. Uh, and the square bell trailer, it unfolds and lets down just like that one does. Same key and all, guys. So the next part we're going to get into here, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be um, our bell wrapping, which is going to be our grass, okay? Well, let's go ahead and hop out of here. We are going, let me slow my guy down here. We're going to get into the front tractor. Now, you're going to need these two mowers or some kind of mower to cut your grass. You're going to go into your store. All right, you're going to go to tools. And you're going to find mowers, which is going to be between the manure spreaders and the loading wagons, okay? Right here. Now, you guys should have these installed already. They should already be in the game by default. If they are not, just go to your mod hub, search up Novacat, N-O-V-A-C-A-T, and it will um, it will pull right, right. up. And, and you want to be able to select your, your tools, which is going to be the G key. Go to the front mowers, guys. And it tells you right there, you can... Um, Oh, okay. There's never mind, guys. I got distracted from that. Sorry about that. Um, so, you can um, at this point, guys. You can lift the mower. I mean, I'm sorry. You want to lower the mower, not lift it. Lower it down like that, okay? And then you want to go ahead and just turn it on. Select the back mower. All right, and lower those, and do the same exact thing. Turn them on, and then we're gonna cut a couple good uh, lines of grass here, okay, guys? And then our other tools are going to come in handy once we do this. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing about cutting grass and making grass bells, okay? There's a trick to it. 
there is a trick to it, guys. A big trick to it, okay? So we're going to kind of... Uh, we're going to just go out right here. And then we are going to make a circle. And come back. The thing about grass bells, guys. If you want complete 100% grass bells, you just have to pick up the grass the way it is. You can windrow it, which means put it in a row. But do not put the tether on it. Once you put the tether on the grass and you spin it out, it's going to turn it into hay, okay? You don't want that, all right? So I'm only going to do just that row right there, guys. Now, once we're done, let's go ahead and connect them. And we'll right, now, connect. you're going to hop into your tractor with your bell wrapper, okay? Again, you have to unfold all these tools, okay? We're going to unfold it, and you want to lower the pickup, all right? Let's lower that down, and then you're just going to simply turn on the beller, all right? Now, I'm going to show you how this works. You're going to want to go on the edge of the field here and try to keep it on the edge of that grass. So you'll get it all. Now, you can windrow it and put it in a row, but just for the sake of this tutorial and time's sake, we're going to do it like this, all right? And I'm going to show you the purpose of these bells. Now, the reason for the grass bells, guys, the reason you would wrap them and make them into silage is for two reasons. One, okay? All right, now you're going to watch it come out. You're going to see it start wrapping. I'll tell you the reasons here in a minute, guys. You're going to see it wrap. One reason, guys, is because you can sell them for good money, or two, you can give them to your cattle, okay? And we'll get into cattle and all that. i got to show you how to take care of your cattle. All right, there it goes. All right, once it's done, you can go ahead and go on. And I'm pretty sure you can... Let me back up a little bit and get that last little bit. I should, probably should have put the attachment on the back of this where it didn't... Uh, you know, where they didn't roll off like that. I don't like it. I like them to stand up on their side. There's an attachment you can add where it will actually stand the, the bell up on its side. And I'm only going to do just a few bells here, guys. We're not going to do them all, so just going to do a few. Um, but that's the reason for the sideways bells, guys. And these wrappers come in real good handy, man. I love the wrappers. I really do. I just, I love them. There's just something about it, man. I love the wrappers. I think they're uh, a really good tool to have. It's a quick way to make, uh, you know, um, it's a quick way to, to make sideways for your cows or TMR, better known as total mixed ration, okay? And I think, guys, I'm not mistaken, yeah. So when your bell is wrapping, you can actually just keep going like this and it will still continue to pick up the grass as your, as your uh, beller, beller is wrapping the bell. And it's going to, uh, if it doesn't drop off on its own, okay, if it does not drop off, go ahead and just hit Y to unload it. It's going to drop it off just like get that. The round bell. I'm going to show you the silage bells do sell for more than uh, regular bells. Now, we had four bells of straw, four round bells of straw, which sold for $1,413, I believe, okay, is what it was. All right, this is going to work the exact same way, all right? You're going to let the arm down, but I believe those sold for a little over $1,400 for uh, straw, uh, round bells of straw, okay? So we're just going to pick these up real quick. And let's... Uh, did we have a bell down here too? We did not. We did not have a bell down there. So, we're going to go on down here and we're going to get this bell down here. And guys, I got... Um, I've got a new farm uh, in mind uh, for the new episode. Just so you guys know about that. Again, guys, um, just working on getting that together. Uh, so we will have some episodes this week, I promise you. All right, now we're going to pull the tractor into here again. Do the same exact thing as you did a while ago, guys. You're going to unload the bells. All right, let's go ahead and unload the trailer. Now, this is only three bells of silage opposed to four bells of four brown bells of straw, okay? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure they, they ferment completely into silage almost immediately, all right? Let's go ahead and unload it. And see that, guys? We got over $7,000 for those silage bells. That's just how much more it pays than regular uh, straw bells, okay? So let's fold that up. And I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for this tutorial and gamers... Uh, I'm sorry. Beginner's guide. Not gamers. No, it's a gamer's guide. Uh, beginner's guide. All right. And then you can fold that back up. Hop out. And I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this video helped you in any way at all, be sure you slap a like on the video for your boy. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it.
Guys, don't forget that I also do have a very big description down there that has my YouTube brothers and sisters. Go check out their channels, guys. All their links are down there. Show them some CJ love. Check out all my links, guys. My CJ Farms Instagram is down there. Um, my Facebook gaming page is down there, guys. Everything you need to know about me is in that description, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, this is CJ Farms. Helping America grow, baby. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the very next video.